now that I've composed myself, I uh, just figured I would get right into it. So welcome to Sexy Sessions. First thing I wanted to talk to you about is the Super Bowl, obviously. It is tomorrow, being played in Dallas. The Packers of Green Bay and the Steelers of Pittsburgh are uh, going head-to-head. -head. Uh, it'll be Ben Roethlisberger's third visit, and uh, he'll be going for his third win. It'll be um, Aaron Rodgers first, who of course sat on the bench for three seasons while, uh, you know, Brett Favre was uh, taking the, uh, you know, taking the glory home once against the Patriots. I'm okay. Anyways, um, and uh, so they'll be going head to head. Uh, you know, who do you want to win? Who are you rooting for? Uh, I'm personally going for the Packers because, uh, well, I don't want Roethlisberger to have his third ring. Anyways, I thought I'd share with you, um, Rick Riley of ESPN.com had posted a few of the choice dumb comments made during the week leading up to the Super Bowl, including... Um, Green Bay Packers tight end rookie Andrew Corliss, who was quoted as saying, I think Green Bay Packers are the best organization that I've ever been around. He's a rookie. Secondly, um, a reporter asked uh, linebacker Clay Matthews, who was your favorite player growing up? Um, his father was a football player for 19 years. Um, hello? Uh, and, uh, oh, Ben Roethlisberger. One of my favorites said, I think for me, I mean, obviously, we have to try to score more points than they do. Uh, check out ESPN.com, links in the below for, uh, you know, some of the hilarity that is um, uh, some, of the, some of those football players who obviously are not physicists or rocket scientists of any kind. That's not what they're doing. They're supposed to play football. Next up, uh, a lot of heat uh, Fox News is giving um, Miss Leah Michelle, who's on the show Glee, uh, for this uh, recent Cosmo cover. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Anyways, uh, Fox News is reporting that there are a lot of parents who are up in arms over the fact that she plays a high school student, but... When she does these risque photo shoots for magazines, she is sending the wrong signal. Uh, one mother was reported as saying that her 13-year-old son was confused. Confused. All right, you're 13. Eh, maybe it hasn't hit you yet, but in a couple of years, you will not be confused. And finally, uh, my favorite segment, and a segment I am going to be using throughout my broadcasts on YouTube, is... Jack Wagon. Of the week. That's right. Every week I'm going to try to report the story of a complete and utter jack wagon who uh, did something stupid and is now paying for it. So it's sort of the Darwin Awards. It's sort of, uh, you know, why are you such a moron? Jack wagon of the week this week is Mr. Robert Michelson, 21 year old from Farmington, Connecticut, who called 911 to get legal advice on whether or not it's illegal to grow pot in your home. Uh, here is the 911 tape. 911, what's the location of your emergency? Uh, let's not get into that yet. I have a question. Is this an emergency, sir? Depends. Well, um, not really. If it's not an emergency, you don't call 911, sir. Well, I have a, qu a legal question. Well, it's not a, is, is this an emergency? I, I don't know what that means. Is it life-threatening or no. an active crime in progress? A crime in progress, possibly. What's going on? I was just growing some marijuana. I was just wondering what the, how much, you know, trouble you can get into for one plant. You're growing marijuana and you want to know how much depends on how big the plant is. It's only a seedling. Well, it's possession. Okay. You can get pinched for a roach in a car. Okay. All right. Thanks for the info. You're welcome. Goodbye. 
afterwards, when the police went to his house and arrested him for possession, where they found the plant, uh, they then went to, uh, you know, took him in and booked him at the police station. When he saw the dispatcher who helped him, he said thank you by throwing up two middle fingers. That's my show. That's what I'm trying to do with this show. I hope it makes sense. I hope you find it interesting. I hope you find it thrilling and laugh and enjoy. Uh, if you have any suggestions or if you know any good jack wagons, uh, please comment below, comment, rate, let me know how I, how I did on my first show. And hopefully next week I will be better because I don't think I did very well.